Hello Magic Community on YouTube, T1 Glistener Elf, playing against a follower of the, ch of the channel. This is Chase. Chase ended up spectating one of my games on Untap, round one in the, the Modern Open League. And lo and behold, he's been watching my channel for a couple years, so shout outs to you, man. Uh, and we are going to be doing some playtest vintage. I'm going to see if he's uh, mic'd up and would like to come on. So I can actually hear him. I can record him talking. Yeah, so this hand is uh, is interesting. So land, Black Lotus, uh, Ancestral Recall. If this had been the other red card in the deck, Progenitus, uh, then Show and Tell would be, I can get a turn one Progenitus out. Instead, what we're probably going to do is, ooh, well, let's, let's see. All right, so no, no mic yet. Uh, what we're going to keep, we're going to do probably Preordain first. Uh, I'm on the draw, so I'll, I'll see what I draw first. Oh, excuse me. Um, okay, so I'll say keep. And actually, I might have to give this preordain away to a force of will anyway. We'll see. We'll see what comes up. If it's something like Walking Ballista, that's that's pretty tricky to beat. Uh, that's a Soul Ring, I believe. It's a yeah, Soul Ring. Uh, nope, 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 nope. Noop, 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 noop. We're not having any of that. We are not having that. There's a sphere. Okay, I can live with sphere. I can live with that. And then on to my turn. Draw a card. Going to play. Fetch. Now, because I have a black card in my hand, I'm actually going to be a little bit risky. I'm going to go and get an underground sea, which of course can get wasted, or strip mined anyway, to be fair. Um, and we're going to play out a black lotus. And we're going to leave it at that for now. We're going to pass the turn. Gonna grab a water? Sure. I no, no worries. Take your time. I have my coffee after all and uh, I drink so much coffee that this is going this is the second cup this whole thing which is two of these and this is almost gone so I love me some coffee you know what if he's not gonna if he's not gonna get mic'd up tonight I'm just gonna leave that off wear it for long enough and your ears start to feel weird right hmm. always nice to hear the dogs out Alright, let's see. In the meantime, how was your day, everyone? I'm fine. I'm fine. Just getting my stretch on. When you see me in, a, in one of the paper games and I just disappear off the screen for a while, this is probably what I'm doing. I'm probably just stretching. Okay, so that's a Steel Overseer for three mana. For three mana. Soul Ring. Yeah, you've got to tap three for that, my friend. Um, this is two plus a sphere, so one, two, three. Um, I'm not sure what the delay is. It costs three. Now, to be fair, to be fair, he's not terribly familiar with this deck. He just started playing it yesterday. All right. So I can't, I can't fault him. Not the land I thought it was. Ooh, no, no, that's not Mishra's workshop. That's Mishra's factory. Fair enough. Ooh, ooh, ooh. All right, there's Ancient Tomb. Okay. Well, Steel Overseer is really not so bad on its own. I can live with Steel Overseer on its own. That's Progenitus. So in that case, I think I would just like to jam. Yeah, we're probably just gonna jam Show and Tell Progenitus. 
and it can be for any color for this. Show and tell. What did you bring to class? Whenever I, I play show and tell, that's always what I ask my opponent. Shoutouts to, I believe it's Cedric Phillips that uh, brought that up. You know, mine is a little bit bigger than yours. A little bit. Ha ha ha, I'm mature. <laughs> uh, shops can still win. And then we will pass the turn. Pass it right on over. It'd be nice, it'd be nice, if maybe, somehow, I could get one more mana so that I can play this recall. Ooh, jeez. Well, okay. Um. What's going on? Kaiba, what's going on? That's a, that's a ballista. That's not bad. Steel Overseer, too. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, seven. So, took the two, looks, yep, took the two already. And we'll see where we go from here. I mean, obviously Steel Overseer is going to tap and give them both counters. And this is going to be a lot of damage coming up, but without an Arcbound Ravager, not enough to kill. Please, nope. Well, there's Blight Steel. A little late, buddy. A little bit late. Rar. Take ten. Ten damage. Pass turn, end of turn, Steel Overseer. Yep, there we go. Now this is going to be a 3-4. So it's three coming at me. This is a 4-4. Four, four. It'll be a 5-5. Five, five. Yeah. And actually by that point this will be 4-4. Four, four. So yeah, this is this is not gonna feel good. Because remember, this can dump all the counters after combat. But we'll live. We're, we're really close. At, oh wait, Animate uh, Inc. or Mistress Factory. Um, small tip. Last turn, Factory could have animated itself for a counter. An additional counter. But that's neither here nor there. So we have, let's see, so one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four should be five, but we'll count it as four. Um, four plus four, so eight. This tapped already. Ooh, we're so close. <gasps> oh, that's five and five. Okay, so this is four. Right, one, two, let me make sure. One, two, three plus the lording, four, five, six, seven, eight, I'd be dead if you uh, took that line. This would be 19 damage. Oof. Um, I'll count it for you. I'm gonna count it for him. We'll do sideboard. Hey, it's okay. It's okay. I don't mean it to sound rough. You, you're new to the deck. It happens. So I'm gonna play Damping Sphere. I put Damping Sphere in on the play against the deck. Uh, and I think I actually might do Sorcerer's Spyglass. It's definitely the draw of when Damping Sphere comes out. So let's see. We don't get anywhere near enough out of Mental Misstep. It's just, it's not a good card for this matchup, unfortunately. Um, and then I'm tempted to do Force of Will as my next. Fatal Push actually does something. Yep, we're on the play. We're going to do Force of Will out. Alright. Mm, Gitaxian Probe or Sorcerer's Spyglass? Spyglass in, probe out. I'm gonna try it. We're, we're practicing it. If ever there's a time to try something like this out, it's practice. Let's see what I have. Hello? 
Oh my goodness, what is going on? There we go. Ooh, okay. Blazing Shoal, Progenitus, missing something. Keep. We may be missing something, folks. So, we're going to play this, go down to 19. Hmm. I'm going to get an island first, actually. So we'll get our Guru Island. Shoutouts to Guru. And then a Preordain. And this is going to resolve, of course, as you do. So, look at the top two cards. Uh, well, you go on the bottom for sure. Bottom of deck. Fatal Push... Fiddle Push is interesting. I actually think I would like to draw that. Even though I don't have a Wing Con yet, I think that I, I would like to get Fatal Push. So we'll close that out, draw a card. And then I will pass the turn. Pass it on over. We'll see. Maybe that was not correct. Maybe I'm wrong. It may have happened a time or ten. Okay. Mox, Ancient Tomb. Oh, Trinisphere. That's a thing. Hmm. Right on time. Right on time. And then we will pass the turn. Yeah, Trinisphere, man. That's a cad. That's a CAD. Well, good news, if Lodestone Golem decides to show up, I'll still be able to Fatal Push it. Wasteland. Okay, and this is why we get the island there. Four. Please be Lodestone. A. Okay, it's not great. I shouldn't be saying A. We, we do, after all, have a problem, unfortunately. Now, if I fetch with both of these for Time Walk, then I won't have a Revolt Up for Fatal Push anymore. So, do I even care too much about this Lodestone Golem? Like, actual question, I don't know that I do. Um... It is a clock. My opponent doesn't appear to have a clock otherwise. So I am going to push this thing. Hmm. Then we'll go down to 17. As you do. And Fatal Push. Three mana, Fatal Push. Would have been two. Trinisphere made it three. Yeah, that's fun. He's dead, Jim. Yeah, we got there. <sighs> Please tell me you understand how that works. Don't put that back into play. It costs three. It costs three. It only costs three, man. Okay, it's fine, it's fine. New to the deck. Lodestone makes it cost two. Then Trinisphere makes it three. The, it seems to be the case that Chase thinks that Trinisphere uh, makes it cost three, and then Lodestone applies afterwards. Um, so we got there. We got there anyway. Um, now I might be in for a world of hurt here, because that Trinisphere is still out, and that's a wasteland. Uh, so I think played correctly here. Wasteland, one of my... Okay, never mind.
what is what is about to happen? Oh, okay. That that's a misplay. Um, we tap the pearl instead, and then we we use the wasteland. Yeah, that's a that's a misplay. Well, can't say I wouldn't take advantage of it to be honest. I I don't want to lose. So time walk. I did. A, well, it's it's fine. Um, Pearl instead of Wasteland. I I don't want it to sound rude, so I won't be like. Oh, you should have done that, but, you know. So this is on my next turn. Uh-huh. So now I can give myself some Wasteland Insurance by playing the Mox Emerald. Wasteland Insurance. Yeah, that's what we're gonna do. And you know, I, I can also, I don't wanna talk about it. It's okay, you're learning, you're learning. It's all good. I I would be in a different spot here had that not happened though. Um, this is a powerful deck. I I should probably be dead two games in a row. Well, I'm about to be at a virtual 14. Well, I am at a virtual 14. Yeah. If I can find an ink moth. That's actually not enough, but because I need uh, two extra mana after that. Ooh, hello. So, one, two, three. Alright, it's dead now. Now it's dead. Okay, so there's a land. So, we, we maybe would have gotten out. Maybe. Oh, should I tutor? Oh, should I do a vamp tutor here? <sighs> okay, um... Vamp tutor is interesting. Um, I'll say thinking. So vamp tutor, I can go and get... It's probably too late for energy flux at this point. Yeah, um... So I've, if I vamp tutor, I go to 12, uh, and then both steel overseers will make that foundry inspector bigger. And that's five. And then I'll have energy flux out and my opponent will be able to keep, let's see, this is making five, six, seven, eight. So they'll actually be able to keep enough to do lethal on the next turn, won't they? Um, yeah, they will. Okay, so no, I, it's too late for energy flux. So now I can do Hercules Recall. That's a thing instead. Yeah, we're gonna do her. We're gonna pass the turn and give it a good old Hercules recall. Yeah, yeah. I don't want to die. Oh, that's a shop. That's not good. That's not good. Fair enough. Five. Yeah, we got there. Let's see what's coming up next. Academy. I swear. Don't do it. Don't do it to me.
GG. So his vamp tutor. Yeah, that's that's not good. Game three. Cause technically I got game one. Technically. Alright, so we're, we'll do it again. Oh, well, okay, we already got there. Um, sure. Actually, I'm gonna keep it the way it is. Draw seven. Sorcerer's Spyglass. Do I have a Mox? I have a Black Lotus. I hear that's pretty good. So we'll go... Uh, we'll say keep. Uh-oh. Got some aggressive mulliganing going on. Or it's just mulliganing. It's gotta have some mana sources, right? Alright. See if we have a keep. I will keep as well. Fair enough. One... Uh, I th Black Lotus. I'm actually tempted to do the Spyglass first. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Sorcerer Spyglass. Alright. Let's see what you got. Let's see what you got. Sorcerer's Spyglass, it can name Walking Ballista. That's often what it will name. Because um, I don't want to lose to a Walking Ballista like that. Instead, though, we have uh, Mox Ruby Steel Overseer as the ones. Now, I can, I can live with a Steel Overseer if it's a 1-1 one, one for 2. And I can't do anything about Phyrexian Metamorph on Sphere. Uh, so I'm going to say Steel Overseer. You can have your Ruby. You can have your Ruby. And in the meantime, uh, because I can see that my opponent has Sphere, we're actually going to play the Blighted Agent here and pass the turn, because I'll be able to play a land and do a two-mana preordain, also known as a standard card, <laughs> uh, next turn. Yep, you do what you have to do. Play in your mocks. Alright, drop a sphere, I guess. Uh, you could do Overseer Sphere, I mean, just to use your mana efficiently. It's a 1-1. One -one. Oh, Thorn! Ooh, okay. Well, that's the new one. That's the new one, alright. Let's see what we have. See what we're working with. Yeah, there's not going to be a counterspell here, so... Uh, look at the top two cards. Ooh, ooh. Time Walk Energy Flux. I'm going to keep both of those. And yeah, there's going to be a sphere, so I'm going to need a lot more mana to make it work. But when it works, ooh, it'll work. Alright, go to one. Because unfortunately, obviously, I can't do anything to win from here. Not from this spot. Reorganize mine a little bit. Okay. Oh, jeez. Holy jeez. Yeah, that's a thing. Yeah. What can you do? Well, we've got to draw our lands. That's what you do. Draw your lands. Alright. Hit you for one. Make it two. Just the two. To be fair, even with Sphere and Thorn, I could actually kill on the spot here. Because Blazing and Blazing Shoal requires zero mana. 
So 0 plus 2 is 2, and I have 2. So we can do that. Um, I guess he's waiting for me to say what it is. Alright, um, well, it happens. Here we go, pass. Yeah, we are a ways away from that energy flux doing much, especially since Black Lotus is already out, but, you know, we can still get there. Okay, now that's a clock. Mistress Factory is a clock. And if my opponent sees it, they can go Workshop, Ruby, or Animate, Mistress Factory, Phyrexian Metamorph as a copy of Mistress Factory. They did not see that. Here's another one. Alright. Did I already fetch? No, I did not. Okay. For just a second. All right. Let's get our really expensive preordains again. As you do. This is very much a standard card. All right. So once again, we'll look at the top two. See what we have. We have another land and a brainstorm. Well, I'm going to put the brainstorm on the bottom of the deck. We will draw Scalding Tarn. And then I will go to combat, hit you for one. Alright, and then pass the turn. Yeah, we can, we're still in this. We can still win this. Um, Shops is not an easy deck to play. Little lines like Ruby and Workshop into Phyrexian Metamorph, because Metamorph only costs one extra. Thorn, it's treated as a creature when it's cast, so Thorn would not apply to it. Uh, to copy a Mistress Factory, that's, that's not something that everybody sees. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You got your two mana Mox Sapphire. That's a commander card, I think. I'll take two. Alright. Do our untap. Ooh. Hi, Recall. Go away, bud. <laughs> Go away, please. Find a card. Do a little redecorating around the place. Four mana, or actually two mana, time walk. That'll be a thing. Ew. You're telling me. Get an extra turn to swing for one. We're getting pretty close. We're getting pretty close, folks. All right. Taking just the one, right? How are you feeling about that? Oh wait, we already did that. Cool. And then on my next turn, for my next trick, we have a Hercules Recall. Hmm. Hmm. This seems easy enough. One. Like the fact that I didn't swing with me the Ink Moth. That should give something away. I'm about to do some BS <laughs> coming up. All right. Pass turn. Let's see what you have. What do you have? I, I wonder. So if my opponent had seen that line, um, how much, what my life total would be at now? I would almost certainly lose this game because uh, it would not be let's, let's see, it would be a land except it's an artifact in addition to its other types I don't believe yeah, it, it would be something I could return with Hercules Recall, I think 
because I would think that it would retain being an, it would be an artifact land. Okay. So I should be at, like, I think I should be at seven. No, I should be at eleven. Okay, you did see that though. Sure. I was wondering why you didn't do that earlier. End of turn. Hercules Recall. Targeting you, my friend. <laughs> Lols. Yeah, so that's a that's a lot. And the energy flux too. Yeah. Yeah. We can do another one. All right. Now Damping Sphere is a lot less good on the draw. So maybe I keep Gitaxian Probe in, in place of Damping Sphere here. That might be correct. Jeez, my itchy nose. I believe that's what I'm going to do. So, where is Gitaxian Probe? All the way down here. And to be fair, it could also be a Mental Mist, or a, not a Mental Mist, a Force of Will that I put back in. I'll do Gitaxian Probe. Hello. Just, just the one, that's all. Alright. Then we'll draw our seven. Keep it going. Oh, hello. This is glorious. Uh, it's not even really missing a creature. Thank you, consultation. And, uh, yeah, we'll keep. Keep. Absolutely. Absolutely. Folks, we have a game. Okay, well... Maybe we don't, actually. <laughs> Maybe we don't. That's five mana. Okay. Overseer Chief. Yeah, I hear that's pretty good. Yep, we got there. Ooh. ha <laughs> ha ha. I am playing with power. Yeah, yeah, I can do stuff. I can do stuff here. Hmm. Let's see how degenerate the next turn gets first. Flip. Mana Crypt. Um, heads. Okay. Okay, okay. So the convention here is that heads is damage. I always say tails. There we go. Fair enough. Yeah, Tails is uh is cool. Shoutouts to Sonic the Hedgehog. Sonic the Hedgehog. All right. I would like to not have to pop this Black Lotus just yet. That is a Metamorph. Okay, this is fine. This is very, very fine. No response. Um, it doesn't have a counter, though. It doesn't have a counter. That's why Thespian's stage plus Dark Depths works.
because Thespian Stage comes in with no counters and then copies Dark Depths, and it still doesn't have any counters. Alright, so I will be... how much will I be taking? Um... It's fine. It's fine. I can cash in this demonic consultation here. Let's see, I'm gonna be taking four. I think I can live with four. Ooh, now that's a that's an issue. Huh. Response, fetch, 15, find a card, I'm going to say, it has to be an underground safe for what I'm trying to do, demonic consultation, With one card left, I'm not too worried about Wasteland, so I, or Strip Mine, so I'm going to probably get Ink Moth here. Plus, Ink Moth will help to play around Sphere of Resistance. Ink Moth Nexus. Alright, so... Whoa, here we are. Spell the top three. Spell the top three. One Ink Moth down. Okay. And now, I will just banish the top card until I hit another Ink Moth. Ooh, Blighted Agent would have shown up. I don't like seeing that many Progenitus there. There's Blight Steel, so Tinker's down. Be nice to see you soon, bud. Oh, that's another one. And Blasphemous Act. Well, this isn't going too well. Three Blazing Shoals. So we're basically going to have to have a tutor to get that done. Let's see. Yeah, so Tinker's down. That's two Progenitus and Blasphemous Act. Where did Blasphemous Act go? Right here. Okay, well, our, our job just got a little bit harder. I'm going to get shulled. Well, you say that. Uh, shulled down, though. Um, it's actually still end of turn. Nah. <gasps> Ooh, there's energy flux. Ooh, that's an energy flux, folks. We got there. Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. Alright, so I can... I can't do the three mana Hercules recall and the energy flux this turn. Okay, well, I, I want to have my cake and eat it too. I really do. Um, yeah, we're just going to do it now. We're going to take one more big hit. And then after that, we'll be okay. We'll live after that. Upkeep. Let's see what the Crypt Flip does. Alright, Steel Overseer. Doing its thing now. Okay. And itself. Yeah, we got there. Uh, that's Tails, so you're safe. 
One, two, three, four, keeping those two around. Okay. Take two. Yep, got, almost got there. All right. Yeah. So I'm taking, let's see, one counter. Oh my goodness, there we go. So four and three, I'm taking seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then I have double Hercules Recall. So I'm fine, I will live. I'm gonna run them into the ancient tomb <laughs> shenanigans here. All right, um, I'm sorry. Oh yeah, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, I forgot about the lording effect. know how. Alright, well I have no artifacts, so I'm gonna draw. I'm going to do just a just a simple preordain first. So look at our top two. Well that's a show and tell. That's an actual win condition. I just need to find something big to drop on it, and that's just two more progenitus. So instead, like, yeah, I think that's okay. So we're gonna put you on the bottom, bottom of deck, and then draw, show and tell. All right, pass turn. Which would you like to keep? All right, the bigger one. The bigger one, of course. All right, what you got? Strip mine. That's that's no good. Hercules Recall. Yeah. Yeah. I'm being that dude. Alright. Well, I deserve that. I deserve that. It's true. Alright. So, ponder. See what we have. See what we're working with. Do, 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 do. Ooh, we got there. We got there. We have all of the things. We have all of the things, folks. I'm just going to leave that right where it is. Draw a card. Ancestral Recall. Draw three cards. One, two, three. Oh god, and another Hercules Recall. There's a Vamp Tutor, not that we need it at this point. And then we'll pass the turn. Okay. Okay. Well, what do we have? We have an Energy Flux putting in all of the work. Officially, all of the work. We have Hercules Recall times two. We have a progenitus kill in hand. Revoker. Now this can't name a land. Uh, I'll say no response. What would you like to name? What thing not known as Black Lotus or Ink Moth Nexus would you like to name? Huh. Grizzlebrand. Sure. Um, you know, I think we're actually just gonna... Ah, uh, sure, we'll fetch. Alright, let's find a card. What would we like to find? There aren't that many cards left in the deck, Jay. There are not that many. Jeez. Jeez. 
Yeah, I thought that I remembered the island getting exiled earlier, but I should have checked my uh, my expel expel first. Um, okay. Just drop it, I guess. My opponent doesn't need to know that that doesn't have anything else to get. My opponent doesn't need to know that. What'd you bring to class? What did you bring to class, Chase? I'm getting slightly better at this. Slightly better at this. Ever so slightly. I bought... I brought Progenitus. So, uh... Pass turn... Upkeep. What would you like to keep? Yeah, we, we passed upkeep. We drew a card. Upkeep. Okay. Still swinging? Yeah. Yeah. Um, how many are we at now? Four? That was four, right? Best of five? Alright. We'll do it one more good time. This time I'm going to try Gitaxian Probe out. One single copy, one solitary copy of Force of Will in. Alright, and we'll see how it goes. Yeah, that's a, that's a Sorcerer's Spyglass and a Null Rod. It's a little slow, but we'll keep. We're on the draw, and we have no Moxin. But we'll keep. Let's see. Steel Overseer. Okay. Soul Ring. Do it. Do it. Hanger back. Okay, so if I can draw a Mox, so I can Null Rod here, that would be sick. Would be sick. As it is, though, you see all these two drops? Vintage is a two drop heavy format because Mental Misstep and Chalice and One are things. So, unfortunately, pass turn. Well, this isn't great. Our no rod's gonna be just a little slow. Oh, we have the unholy tr Mmm, okay. Well, this no rod is actually gonna be glorious. It'll hit... Oh, it'll hit everything except the ancient tomb. So, we're still gonna lose. We're still gonna die. But, but we're gonna keep them from winning. It's the game plan anyway. So we're taking two. You know it. Alright, so draw. I swear. Okay, okay, we, we're living, we're living. No, we're not. See, I have to sack an artifact for Tinker to work. I would like not to have to sacrifice... Assuming I do find a land, I would like to not have to sacrifice the, uh, the Null Rod itself. I mean, I have to do the Null Rod here, otherwise I just lose the game on the next turn. If I find another land, I can show and tell, but if I find another land, I won't have anything to show and tell in. Oh, you know what? <sighs> I should have done the uh, the time walk. I don't know why I didn't. Yeah, that's uh, that came in at one steel overseer. Wait a minute. I missed something.
So you played Ancient Tomb, Steel Overseer, Mox, and Soul Ring, Hangerback. How is Hangerback at three? Yeah, um, I, I don't know the answer to that. Should be at two, right? Wait. You pumped it once. Okay. So let's see. Okay, so two on the Ravager, two on the Ravager, and then one to pump it. Okay. Got there. Got it. Yeah, I, I missed that somehow. Ancient Tomb, taken two. Overseer. Sure, why not? Untap, draw. Okay. Okay. We're fine. We're fine. Time walk. We might just lose to this beatdown deck, though, if we're not careful. Alright, and for our, before our next turn, we're actually going to fetch here. I think. Yeah, we have to. Because we are not blocking with Blighted Agent. That's not a thing. Plus, we already have a creature. We already have Ink Moth Nexus, we just don't have Blazing Shoal and a big creature or Blasphemous Act to dump. Uh, so let's untap, draw. That's not what we needed, but we can make it work. We can make it work. Alright. Ready for this? I don't think you're ready for this. Crap. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I actually lose the game here. No matter what, I just lose the game. But I'm not telling my opponent that. I am not telling my opponent that. I will make them do it. Yeah, uh, uh, this is a big ol' F6. Shops cannot do something from here. Bum, bum, bum. I'm going to try to intimidate them by putting it all up in the front. And then pass turn. Doing the math. Do you have it? End of turn? No, 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 no. No, you can't. No, you can't. <gasps> oh, crap. Wait, oh, they use Ancient Tomb. Nope. No rod. Nope. I see what you're trying to do. That is not a thing. Ugh. I knew where that was going. <laughs> Nope, 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 nope. <laughs> that that would have been fun if no rod had not been out. <sighs> mm. Okay, this is the correct board, however. Uh, notice, however, I am still dead if my opponent attacks correctly. Yep, and that's lethal. That's lethal. Shops is a pretty good deck, folks. That'll do, donkey. <laughs> yep. Yep. Um, I do have the, the pleasure of making sure that Hangerback Walker would not spawn any 
any one ones because it dies of minus one minus one counters. That's about it. Good games. Good games, man. I sure am. <laughs> I appreciate you coming on. Um, plug. Ooh, hello. I should be able to call soon. Plug your Twitch while you're here. Why not? Let people. Uh, uh, by the way, I'll, I'll say it's a uh, C H A Y S E underscore K E E L. That's the twitch.tv slash. Chase underscore kill. 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 Like he just killed me over here. Yeah, Blade Steel doing doing what it does. It it tried. It's tried its hardest. It sure did. It tried. 